And lastly, we are now going to proceed with the grouping symbols. Addition of algebraic expressions frequently involves the symbols of grouping such as parentheses, brackets, and braces. And to remove grouping symbol, if preceded by a minus sign, we should change the sign of each term inside the grouping symbol. And if preceded by a plus sign, no further change is to be done. However, if it is preceded by a factor, we should apply the distributive law. And always remember that the goal is to eliminate the grouping symbols. Okay, let's have our example for grouping symbols. First example, we have negative 2a minus 3 multiplied to negative 2a plus b minus a minus 3a minus b plus 1 minus 6. So remember, in eliminating grouping symbols, we are always going first with parentheses and then brackets and then braces. And to do that, we have to eliminate the parentheses first. So we have to um, distribute 3 to negative 2a plus b and we have to distribute the negative sign here to 3a minus b. So let's just copy negative 2a and then we have 3 multiplied to negative 2a that will give us negative 6a. 3 multiplied to b that will give us b. And then just copy a and then negative times positive 3a that will be equal to negative 3a and negative times negative b that will be positive b. And then just copy plus 1 and minus 6. And now that we have eliminated the parentheses, we are now going to eliminate the bracket. So we're going to work on a minus 3a plus b plus 1. One. And here, we can combine the like terms, which are a and negative 3a. So let's just copy the rest. Then we have to combine a minus 3a. So that will give us negative 2a. And then let's just copy plus b plus 1 minus 6. And since we haven't eliminated the bracket yet, so we have to distribute this negative sign to negative 2a plus b plus 1. So let's just copy again. Negative 2a minus 6 minus negative 6a plus 3b. Distribute the negative sign. Negative times negative 2a. That will give us positive 2a. Negative times positive b. We have negative b and negative times positive 1. That will give us negative 1. And then just copy negative 6. Okay, now that we have eliminated the bracket. We're just now going to eliminate the braces. But before that, let's uh, first combine the like terms inside these braces. So we have just, we're just going to copy negative 2a and then negative 6a plus 2a that will give us negative 4a, 3b minus b that will give us 2b, and then we have negative 1 minus 6 that will give us negative 7. And then again, let's just distribute the negative sign to negative 4a plus 2b minus 7. So that will give us negative times negative 4a we have positive 4a negative times positive 2b that will give us negative 2b and negative times negative 7 that will give us positive 7 and then let's just combine the like terms which are 2 negative 2a and positive 4a that will give us the final answer which is equal to 2a minus 2b plus 7. It's because we have negative 2a plus 4a that will give us 2a and then just copy negative 2b plus 7. So this is for the final answer. Okay, let's have another example. Say we have 5 multiplied to 3x plus 1 minus 22 plus x plus 10 minus x plus 10 minus x. Okay, so again, we have to go first with parentheses. Okay, so we have x plus 10 and we have to distribute here the negative to x plus 100. So just copy 5 multiplied to 3x plus 1 minus 22. And in here, since um, the preceding 
operation is addition so no changes shall be made in the signs of x plus 10 so that will still be x plus 10 then we have here negative multiplied to positive x so that will give us negative x and negative times positive 100 that will give us negative 100 and then just copy negative x after that let's now work with the brackets so first with this one so we're just going to combine the like terms and for this one we're going to combine the like terms as well so just copy 5 and then we have 3x plus x so that's why we'll have 4x and then we have 1 minus 22 plus 10 for the constant that will give us negative 11 then just copy and then we have here the like terms negative x minus x so that will give us negative 2x and then just copy negative 100 okay and then after that we still have brackets so 5 multiplied to 4x minus 11 to eliminate the bracket we are going to distribute 5 to 4x minus 11 and in negative 2x minus 100 we have to distribute the negative sign 5 multiplied to 4x that will give us 20x and 5 multiplied to negative 11 that will give us negative 55 and then we have negative times negative 2x that will give us positive 2x and negative multiplied to negative 100 that will give us positive 100 and then after that after that we have eliminated the brackets so lastly we have the braces so we have to eliminate the braces by distributing the negative sign to 2x plus 100 so just copy 20x minus 55 then we have negative times 2x that will give us negative 2x and negative multiplied to positive 100 will have negative 100 and now that we have eliminated the grouping symbols we can now combine like terms so we have 20x minus 2x that will give us 18x and we have negative 55 minus 100 that will give us negative 155 so for the final answer we have 18x minus 155 and now i want you to try this example a plus B minus B minus 1, B minus 12 times negative B plus B minus 3A minus A squared plus B. So always just keep in mind that we have to eliminate the parentheses first and then the bracket and lastly the braces. So keep in mind parentheses, brackets, braces. Answers will be revealed on our next online meeting. Thank you guys for listening and we hope that you learned.